For many of us who are just beginning using InDesign, the tools themselves can be intimidating. InDesign CS5 includes a nice panel that gives you some hints about how to use each of the tools. Under Window, pull down to Utilities, and then choose Tool Hints. This panel will tell you not only what a specific tool is intended to do, but also what happens when you use it with modifier keys. This is very handy because it turns out that many of these tools have functions that are a lot deeper than what you see on the surface. And knowing what happens when I use, for instance, an arrow key or an option key or a command key really helps me to take full advantage of each of the tools. So this is our selection tool. Let's choose the gap tool. The gap tool is the fourth one down. Its keyboard shortcut is U. Now we see hints for the gap tool and we can see the modifier keys and what they do with the gap tool. How about the scissors tool? The scissors tool has a shortcut of C and it's used to cut a path. How about the eyedropper tool? The eyedropper tool is used to pull formatting from one object and apply it to another object and we can see that we have some modifiers there as well. So if you're moving along and you're finding out that you don't really remember what a specific tool does or you'd like to know how can I use it better, an easy way to get at that information is to use the new Tool Hints panel.